Hello everyone, welcome to lesson 19 of C programming on the Mac. In this tutorial, I'm going to be covering, uh, well, making a little introduction to input. And so far we've learned different forms of output, such as this printf right here. And what that does is it prints out the information that we tell it in the program, it prints it out to the console. But we want, what we're going to learn in this tutorial is how to type something into the console and take that information and bring it into the program and then we can store it. So that's basically what this tutorial is going to do. And a prerequisite for this tutorial would be my earlier pointers tutorial, which um, is required pretty much for um, input in general in C. Uh, you have to kind of know a little bit about, about pointers. So if you haven't checked out the pointers tutorial, it was a few tutorials back. And yeah, just make sure you check it out before continuing with this one. So anyway, um, to start out, we are going to make a simple program that does um, it. All it's going to do is we're going to enter one number, and that number is going to be stored in a variable. So yeah, that's as simple as this um, input tutorial is going to get. And there's going to be multiple input tutorials, but this is just going to be one of them. So to start out, um, we have to have a way to store our integer somewhere when we type it into the console. So to have something to store, we're going to make an integer variable, and we're just going to call it myInt. And we don't really have to initialize it right now because as soon as we call our input function here, we're going to enter that information to myInt. You could say myInt gets zero right now if you want it. It doesn't really matter, but um, yeah, because in this case, we're going to be initializing my int right away. So uh, to start out, to get, um, like, for printf anyway, we use the function printf to print out, and the function to take input in is scanf. And um, just a warning here, scanf is not the only input function. There are multiple ones, and as a matter of fact, scanf is actually a pretty bad one for uh, certain things. Um, for instance, it can only, as soon as it sees a space, like if you separate words, like if you have uh, you eat cake and you separate that by spaces, it's only going to take the you. As soon as it sees a space, it doesn't actually uh, continue on. So that's one example of how scanf doesn't really work for all things. Um, and there are other reasons too, but for our tutorial, um, just to save one number, it's actually quite useful. And it's an easy way to learn how input works, because it's probably one of the most simple functions. So anyway, let's get started here. Um, we use, just do, um, it's very similar to printf, actually. We do, we start with double quotes like that, and then we have to specify what our input is going to be. So we're going to look for um, integers, so we're just going to do percent %d or percent %i. And now, when we input this information, we're going to be storing it where myInt is located. And that means we have to know the address of myInt. So we're going to use the address of operator, like I showed in a previous tutorial. And the address of operator is, um, it shows where myInt's located in memory, so that it can print to that memory, basically. So address of myInt, oops, not sure what happened there, myInt. And yeah, so that's that's all you have to do for input. Um, so again, we look for our double quotes and the format specifier inside of it. So percent %d is for integers. And then it looks for the address of where you're going to store this information. So the address of my int in our case. So for our program here, we want to print out again what our function, or sorry, not our function, our uh, what we store in my int. So we're just going to make a simple printf, put a percent %d in there for integer, and then we're just going to put my int to be print out. So let's go ahead and run this program. So build and run, go to the console, and as you can see, something different um, from all of our other tutorials, uh, at least hopefully, um, this red stop sign up here which means the program is still running. In general, when we've run all of our other programs, it's ended, because the program just prints something out and then it's done. It doesn't have anything else. But in this case, the program is still waiting for something to happen, because it's waiting for us to type in information. So uh, here, we uh, it's looking for a number right now, so we can just type in you know, whatever. If we want to delete something, we can do that too. It doesn't really matter. 
And then what scanf looks for is our return key to be hit. And that will signal that um, what we've typed in is done. And if you try a tab or a space, the spaces don't matter. Um, it will just take the numbers anyway. So it's looking for the return key. And when we hit that, as you can see, it took this number here, 3673, and it stored that, this is the scan effort here, it stored that in my int. And then this next line of code is the printf kicking in, and it's, sto uh, it's re basically reprinting the information that was stored in my int. So it reprints my int's value. So that's pretty much an introduction to uh, scanf. Um, it's uh, very basic, and it's not too hard for uh, easy stuff like this, but um, just an example of how it doesn't work for everything. Um, if I enter, let's say I enter two numbers, and um, like that, if I press return after that, as you can see, it just chops off this last part, which it should, kind of, because it's just an integer. But later on, when you have uh, things like, you know, sentences like you eat cake, every space, every space that's in the sentence is just going to be cut off. So if you have a sentence called you eat cake, it's just going to store the you. And so that's one example of how um, scanf isn't really a good thing for everything. But in this case, it works well, and it uh, kind of shows the point. So again, we create our integer variable. Our, we call our scanf function, and we specify what type we want to input, in this case an integer, and then we have to specify the address of that um, variable that we're talking about, and then, yeah, that's all you have to do to actually store information, and then our printf just reprints whatever my int's value is. Okay, so that, yeah, that's just... That's input in a nutshell. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to leave a comment or uh, send message, whatever you want. And yeah, so that's uh, just an introduction to input. And many more tutorials will be on the way. All right, see ya.